Hey my name is Jasper and welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video I thought it would be fun to discuss random inconsistencies or weird things that I've noticed in Just Dance. This video will be a lot less organized than my usual content because I'll be talking about various Just Dance topics. Plus it's meant to be an open discussion with you guys down below in the comments I hope that you'll still enjoy. We'll get back into covers later on, but I want to get this one out of the way because it's been on my mind for weeks lol. I know it has to do with her being a feature, so it was probably much easier to get the rights. But isn't it weird that Christina Aguilera has both a covered and non-covered song in the same game? These being ain't no other man in her feature on moves like Jagger from Just Dance 4. I find that so interesting and if, I'm not mistaken that's the only time something like that has happened in the series. Secondly I wanted to talk about how mysterious and inconsistent the scoring is. Since Just Dance 2, the max score you can get is 13,333, but not once in my entire time of playing JD have I ever gotten that score lol. I fully perfected. A few songs. I'm not a pro or anything but it has happened and the highest I've gotten was about 13,313. I just want to know what I'm doing wrong am out. One time I fully perfected I knew you were trouble and got about 13,100 and when I played that song again I got to supers yet somehow scored around 13,200 which is where my high score on that song sits at now, like how? Okay this one has been in the back of my mind for a while now. In the Just Dance universe are their gloves actually gloves or do they simply have one oddly colored hand? You may think this is a dumb question because we've seen fingerless gloves, long gloves, mittens, etc. But some coaches have nails sticking through their glove hand things? I was maybe thinking this could be a drag queen thing but you can see it on the woman coaches as well. Is this a fashion piece? Are their hands odd colors? Did they cut holes in their gloves? What's going on here? And don't get me started on animal coaches because some of their paws are straight up neon blue or something. This one is really short but I thought it was weird that unicorn lover's name was removed after a day or two of being temporarily on JD+. It definitely look weird and inconsistent when on the coach selection screen. It's not like this. Was done to keep her name a secret till the game releases or something either as her name was revealed in a post after JD 2025 was announced. Speaking of names, JD hasn't been the most consistent about this either. You probably know the coach of last Friday night is Liza Friday, but in a promotional post she's referred to as Carrie Party and in her other costume she's nicknamed Pure Party so which is it? Liza Friday or Carrie Party? Pure Party. This isn't the first time this has happened as Rudolph from Make It Jingle also has been referred to by multiple names. During JD's McDonald's toy promotion, Rudolph was referred to as Reese on their website and the in the file name of the photo he's called Rudy. It might just be me but I prefer Reese because he doesn't even have a red nose like Rudolph so the name has never made much. Sense lol. Lastly the coach from Baylor is named Miguel but if you remember, Pidu from TD Me Pregunto is also named Miguel. So does this mean they're the same character? Do they just share a name? And if that's the case then will, the coach of Baylor be renamed if that map gets added to JD plus N, or he gets an avatar, otherwise it'll be so confusing. Again another quick one but why is the frog from Dame T.U. Cosita darker green when you play the song on Just Dance now? Was this simply a beta color scheme that they didn't bother to update when adding the map in? Very weird. We all know that Britney's first few songs in JD were covers, including that infamous toxic cover lol. But finally by JD 2016 we got Circus which was her first song that wasn't covered. After that we got Scream and Shout, Slumber Party, and Work Work. But once JD 2021 rolled around we got Till the World Ends covered by the girly team. This was really weird and disappointing news for me. Thankfully afterwards we continued to get Britney's original songs again but it was definitely odd and felt inconsistent since they already had the rights to her music in the past. This is something JD seems to be confused about because in a recent Just Dance Plus trailer they credit Baby one more time as being sung by her even though that's not the case in game. And in a promotional pic they posted for the Y K season they credited Britney although Upside did it again is covered in JD. Pretty funny huh? I'll quickly summarize these two because there are countless videos already discussing them but the effort and difficulty ratings can be very off sometimes. For example, how is Git Get Down labeled as medium when everybody Backstreet's back is labeled as easy? Everybody has quickly paced complex moves meanwhile Git Get Down looks like it escaped kids mode. And as for the censorship that is very off a lot of the time too. Most infamously JD has a long confusing history with the word hell. There are so many compilation videos that show off how inconsistent the censorship can be from time to time lol. 
I'd recommend you watch some of them, but as a quick example, Kill In. Kill Bill was censored throughout the whole song meanwhile and sale it's left and censored, even in the context of self-harm? This one is nitpicky but I have to bring it up. Who is that in YMCA that is not our Rasputin? He looks so off in comparison to JD2 and other maps. He definitely has to be some kind of imposter, obviously I'm kidding lol. Although I'm happy that they corrected his look in all future appearances. Something else I needed to mention are some of the coaches that return in the backgrounds of other maps. How come some of them have a glove and some don't? In last Friday night the returning coaches don't have their glove in. The same can be said about can't stop the feeling. But in I wanna dance with somebody all the returning coaches have their gloves? Same with Chalina's short cameo in After Party. But why not the pilot and gimme more? Please make it make sense. The inconsistency of it all bugs me. Please don't take this one seriously at all lol it's only a joke. But why is Sarah's singing voice so different in If You Wanna Party and Tainted Love? It's understandable with another character like Bretziana since her maps have songs from very well-established artists but these two songs are Ubisoft originals that are intended to be portrayed as Sarah singing. Don't you think they would have made an effort to keep her voice at least a little consistent between songs? Did being turned evil give her a better singing voice? Because no offense, her voice sounds overly edited and if you want a party lol. Finally I'll leave you guys with this big question. So in all you gotta do every song is portrayed as being their own planet. The same thing was shown off in All Stars mode as the panda flew in his party bus from planet to planet, but with the added lore as each song still their own entire planet? In the trailer for season 3, Beach, Summer, and Vampires, a camper van is shown driving to the Sun Horizon Danceverse, so are there multiple Danceverses on one planet with welcome signs like these? Do multiple songs take place on one planet or one Danceverse? It's all so confusing. Thank you so much for watching, this video ended up being way longer than I expected it to be lol but I hope you still enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another video from me. Feel free to comment down below what you thought about today's video, remember this is supposed to be an open discussion so I'm excited to hear from you. But until the next time you click on one of my videos, bye.